Well, tonight, Beaumont voters have a better idea where the five candidates running for mayor stand on the big issues after our 12 News mayoral debate. During our live broadcast tonight from Loire University, the candidates made their case to voters. Yeah, we hit on a lot of key issues and asked the candidates questions that you submitted. 12 News reporter Amelia White is live with a recap. Jordan Dage, so many discussion from the debate today from about infrastructure, crime, and the vision for the city. Take a look at this recap. Five candidates vying for one job. They all want to be the next mayor of Beaumont. During Tuesday's debate, they were asked 14 questions, ranging from economic development to race inequality. One 12 News viewer wrote in asking, why is Beaumont a ghost town? Is revitalization a priority? Councilwoman Robin Mouton answered first. Right now, we are working to secure the bank. During Hurricane Harvey, we lost a lot of the, of the uh, bank rupturing from the uh, storm. So in order for us to secure the bank, we are uh, working to get that done. That led to businessman Roy West Jr. addressing concerns about Beaumont's riverfront. And I know with Port Natchez, I believe, that, you know, they have an economic development uh, corporation down there and they own the land and they sold the land to the restaurants for one dollar each. Uh, one dollar for the land with an agreement on how much uh, restaurant they were going to build and the square footage and how many people they were going to employ. So that was a brilliant idea. Certainly that is something that, we you know, it, here at the city of Beaumont we need to look at. Conversation shifted to infrastructure. Businesswoman Bagita Hernandez-Smith used her time to highlight the difference between equity and equality. It is a big problem in Beaumont and we cannot build on unstable ground. So we need to understand exactly what we're dealing with and we need to have a maintenance plan. We talk about the city being old. Yes, the city's old, but the thing is, is that if we had a maintenance plan in place, we wouldn't be dealing with these old issues. Recruiting talent to Beaumont was the next hot topic. Businessman LaShawn Proctor says it's about starting local. You have, we're supportive of local talent, we're supportive of local people, and we're going to put them in positions, and we're going to work from within. And those are some things that I think that always helps a business grow, when you can support and grow from within. Is Beaumont a safe place to live and raise a family? Here's how Councilman W.L. Pate responded. Uh, absolutely. It's, first off, it's important to know we've got a great police chief, we've got a great police department, they use Comstat. They focus on where the crimes are actually happening, and we put more of our forces in that area. Lots of perspective from different walks of life. One thing they all have in common is the desire to make Beaumont a better place to call home. Beaumont voters remember early voting is from April 19th through April 27th. Election day is May 1st. I'm live in Beaumont, Amelia White. 12 News. Thanks so much, Amelia, and we've made it easy for you to find out what's on the ballot where you live. Just text the word vote to 409-838-1212. You will get the 12 News election guide sent right to your phone.